All right guys, check this out. We have another boat that has been sitting. This boat has been sitting for approximately six years. Uh, it's really funny because if you watch my last video of the boat that I cleaned up, I actually had someone who commented and told me if I was interested in um, a boat that's been sitting in this yard and I went to go look at it and look at that, it's here. So we're gonna give you a little overview of the boat. The boat is a 1982 Pro Line. It has a 200 Mercury two stroke on it. It's uh, a little dirty. It's in pretty good shape. It has a aluminum trailer, torsion axle. Can we go in the inside here soon? It's funny because this motor was actually in the ground and dirt up to here. All this was in the ground was crazy. There's still dirt on the prop. Some earmuffs on the motor. <clears throat> motor, um, condition-wise, isn't bad at all. It's original paint. Let's go in the inside. It was a spare prop. A bunch of stuff in here. It's dirty. This boat is actually covered in leaves. I have some photos I'm going to post in the video. We have a cooler here. Backrest for that. Um, a cutting table for fish. Come up here. Bunch of really dirty. Check out the windshield. Um, this is pretty cool, this T-top. The guy I bought it from had it made. It's in really good shape. Come up to the front. a bunch of dirt it needs to be cleaned compartment up here not sure what this is I assume an anchor correct anchor storage pretty dirty up here you can actually stand on here t-top it's half dirty there's a lot of rod holders on this boat I mean we have two up here um, eight in the back on the T-top, up there, a couple in the back, it's a great fishing boat. I'm going to come down here, going to take you guys in the cabin. There's a bunch of stuff in this cabin, so don't be shocked. Look at all that, I have no clue what's even in there. All this needs to be cleaned up, just a bunch of stuff. There's a radio in here actually. Hopefully this works. Spider webs. Uh, this uh, motor is actually um, has a hydraulic steering system, which is pretty handy. <clears throat> and this boat just needs a lot of cleaning. But once this boat is cleaned up, it's just gonna look really good. So what I'm doing right now is I'm actually cleaning, well taking everything out of here before we pressure wash it. And I already seen a few spiders in here, which isn't good. Looks like we have a fishing pole. She's finally cleaned. She's got a sweeper, cleaner with pressure washer, put some bleach in there. Look what came out. A bunch of junk. a lot cleaner in here all right so I'm gonna give you a little update on this boat um, so far I removed the lower unit which is located right here that was a pain to remove it would not come off but I finally got it off um, the reason why I took that off is because I'm gonna put a new water pump in this lower unit because I'm sure the old one is gonna be um, messed up and it's just good to have a new water pump because it's been sitting for such a long time Here's 
the old impeller versus the new impeller. As you can tell, it's a big difference. So today our mission is to find someone who could reupholster all this stuff. Uh, my truck is out there. I have the wood and everything. I just have to load up the cushions and we're just going to drive around and see who could do it for the best price. We are going to redo the whole interior. As you can see, um, we got the cushions redone. This is how they came out. The guy who did them did them really cheap and to do all this and he put um, a black stripe in here. I mean, it's, it's a really good job. It was only 150 bucks. Um, <clears throat> the quality came out really nice. We're also going to do the same with this um, with this back piece right here where you lean against it. We're going to do it the same color. Here's this business card if you're interested or if you're in the area and you want to get anything of yours reupholstered. This guy's really good and he's really reasonable and he knows what he's doing. Coming in here you can see that we stripped everything. No carpet, no nothing in here. Um, we are going to paint the wall over here white. Our cushions are going to go right here. And we're also getting a, a cushion that you lay back on custom built that will run along the sides. So currently we're working in the dark. Um, let me go give you guys a little overview of what we are doing. We have everything off in the front. Almost done painting the front cabin. Um, we took all the wood trim pieces off because we are going to uh, sand them down and stain them. We did install the pen downriggers and my friend over there is staining the wood pieces currently. We um, put all the wood back, that's all stained and whatnot. Um, we painted the inside here. We have a door there now, we need a latch and whatnot. Um, we did install a light bar in the front. I'm gonna come here in the front to show you guys. It's all the way up there. It works good, it's really bright. I have to rewire it to the switch panel. Alright, so I just took the speaker out because it needs to be replaced and there is so much stuff in here and you'll be surprised what I'm about to pull out. I just have to try to find it, so I'm going to do that right now on camera. Ooh. Let's see, where is it at? Oh my god, there's a lot of stuff. Oh, here they are. Look. There's actually worms, earthworms growing in here. How do they get in here? I have no clue. So check the boat out so far. We have the bottom paint on. We have the new stickers right here. The Proline sticker, the 23 up here. The boat is looking really nice right now. Um, what I'm gonna do today is I'm going to wire up some LED deck lights. We have blue and red LED lights. Um, they're, just, they're just gonna go on the bottom of the boat. We just have to find a place to put them. Uh, but it's looking really good. The boat's really dirty, but after we're done cleaning it, it should look really nice. Check this out. We have all the lights in. I have to install the transom lights. They're underwater lights. We put some LED strips in the cab. Pretty much wired everything and it's ready to go almost. Here's the interior, looking good. Spotlight wired up. Look at that. Everything's looking good so far. Just a few more things, cleaning, and we'll be on the water. We have the boat in the water. She's floating, which is a good sign. I'm gonna come up here and show you guys in person what it looks like. Or 
We're gonna go for a little test spin. I have my drone. We have the downriggers in here. Here's the cabin. Looks a lot different than it uh, used to look. Cushions are nice. We're gonna take her for a little spin around here. to the boat ramp we have the trailer in the water and hope you guys enjoy this video it was a lot of hard work boat looks great no issues it took us um about two weeks to do this kind of job but you know what look at that totally worth it looks great all right so we just got the boat out of the water rinsed it off with some fresh water to get all the salt water out she ran good for us let me give you another quick overview Look at that cabin there. Here's a trailer if you guys haven't seen it. It's a double axle aluminum trailer. Looks good. This boat was so much work. Took us approximately two weeks. Been working on it all day, sometimes all night. But um, here she is. Was totally worth it. Um, Hopefully, um, maybe in the future we'll do another one of these videos to um, restore another boat. But um, this one's complete, and we're proud of it. I uh, hope you guys enjoy this video, and give this video a thumbs up.